Hey guys, this is Darla with Stampin' with Chaos. I am up again doing some uh, late night crafting and um, I got a new stress ball. I'm trying to see if this will help me keep food out of my mouth. <laughs> so anyways, with that being said, I was working on some cards that are gonna go out with my catalogs here in the next day or so. And I just wanted to tell you that you don't have to do fancy dancy cards. Simple cards are just as good and sometimes they're better. They're they're easy, they're quick, and there's not a lot of stress to it. So I'm just going to do a couple of them while I'm sitting here visiting with you. Um, one of these is one of our older stamps that I've had for years and years and years. It's called the Work of Art and it's a swish, I call it the swish stamp. And uh, see, and all I did is I stamped a dark one. I stamped the second one off. My lighting, there we go. Is that better or worse? And then I swooshed another one and then I used our um, Kindest Expression stamps, which I just got and I absolutely love it. Um, and I stamped it down there. Super easy, but how cute is that? And then for the bottom, which I didn't finish, I'm gonna go ahead and do that while I'm talking to you, is I'll go ahead and put you down, is I cut a piece of five and a half, or excuse me, five and a quarter by four cardstock. And you're supposed to stamp before you stick, right? In case we screw up. And I'm just gonna use our little, this is a real cute uh, floral season floral. And I'm just gonna use one of the little flowers and we're just gonna stamp it down here in the corner and call it good. I'm gonna put these in with my catalogs that are going out just as a, as an extra card, just a freebie so that they can, uh, they can, oh, see, I'm going to go ahead and turn this. Oh, you know why? No, I got the right map. I'm not sure why it didn't do that right. There we go. Then we're just going to adhere it. If you ever get a card from me, don't take off the back. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, there we go. There you go. You can send this out with a real cute, super cute. I'll do one more real quick just to show you how easy it is. Let's do the, um, what color? Oh, I still have one more of those. We'll just, I want to switch. Let's do the blue. This is our blueberry, um, blueberry bushel blue. I call it like a royal blue. It reminds me of the warden blue, honestly. So I cut the card stock, card stock five and a, five and a half by four and a quarter. I am brain dead tonight. I did my white five and a quarter by four. Um, I am pre-recording this. You probably won't see it. Today is actually Tuesday, which was actually the second or third Monday in a row for me. And um, I am just thankful tomorrow's a new day. So this will be pre-recorded and probably posted. I'm not sure if it'll be next week or the week after. I'm trying to get ahead so that uh, I'm going to be gone for a few days. So then I'm not going to feel like I didn't do what I was supposed to do. I'm challenging myself this month. So here's the swish. We're just going to put dark. And then we're going to go. And this one is really dark. So in reality, I probably could have stamp that first one off but I'm gonna leave it and then we'll take this this is a and I'm gonna stamp off on this blue because it is so dark there you go so yeah when you're judging your colors if they're super duper bright you can always just stamp off and get a little bit lighter color and this looks like I didn't clean it very good and make it look better. So I'm going to do the same thing with this flower. I don't want it that dark, so I'm going to stamp off. Oh, let's try that again. Okay. Oh, we've got something going on with it. Hmm. And then it's one of those colors that you're going to end up wearing. I can tell you that right now just by the... Oh, I see what's going on. Let's try it that way. Okay, let's try this again. So get it on, stamp off. There we go. 
I'm going to flip this. No, I'm not because that's got something on it. Flip this over. Grab another one real quick. There we go. How pretty is that? I'm going to do one more because I have the blue. I have two blue ones to do and then I'll uh, do them all together. Just a reminder, this uh, next couple weeks, I have my In Color Club coming up. And that's where you can get every color. Once a month, you get a new set. You get the paper, you get the ribbon, you get the DSP, you get the ink pad, you get the ink refill, you get the uh, stamping blends, all of that. And I believe it was $70 a month. And there's a place on my blog to sign up for it. So you're going to be seeing a couple posts about that. I also, for the month of April, don't forget if you spend $25, for every $25 you spend with me, you get your, it put in for a raffle for a, a free basket, a small, a smaller basket from me. So those are some things I've got going on. Um, everything's going really good. I've finally got myself on a schedule. I'm not sure it's a good schedule because I drink coffee at 7 o'clock at night so I can stay up. But it's working. I'm <laughs> getting my stuff done. I'm trying to get a balance here. Okay, so we're just going to stick this on the inside. My eyes are wonky. Oh, I forgot to stamp the thanks on this one. Uh, let me get this real quick. Sometimes late night stamping, uh, not always. There we go. I thought about late night stamping with a drink instead of coffee, but I'm pretty sure that would just put me to sleep. <laughs> okay. Anyways, this is just a quick one. I just wanted to pop on and show you that it doesn't always have to be elaborate. Um, the, like I said, this the Swish is an older stamp set, and I will look in my new catalog. I don't know that I've seen one anything like that. But if you ever find stamp a stamp set like this, this these are perfect for just a quick thank you card, a quick birthday card. Um, I was trying to see what other... It has all sorts of them. It has the bigger one, this one, that one. So, super, super cute. Sometimes it's kind of fun to pull from the vault and use something that you've had for a while. That's one of my favorites, so I won't be getting rid of it anytime soon. So, anyways, I hope you guys have a great week. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for all your support. I appreciate it, and I hope you guys have a great day. This is Darla with Stampin' with Chaos, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Thanks.